So good evening everyone, Rob here from Bags of Adventures again on a Thursday night giving you a review like I said I was going to. Um, tonight I'm trying it on the iPad, it's a little bit bigger and um, yeah you can see a bigger scale. Um, the coat that we're going to be looking at tonight is this which is the Endura MT500. Um, I bought this one from uh, I think it was either Chain Reaction or treads it comes in sizes um extra small to 3xl so some good good sizing on it um, you can have a look at uh either treads or chain reactions website to uh, there's a size chart on there so you can have a look um the one thing i particularly like about it is is the plastic um i think it's a ykk zip yeah it's a really good really good quality zip on there ykk and um the fact that everything's um inside has got i don't know whether you can see this i'll stand back a little bit it's got pressed seams all here and uh here throughout the uh throughout the coat so it's 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 pressed very well i'm going to put it on just to show you what it looks like um this is a an xl so it's uh it's made for slightly rotund man so there we go, that, that's a coat on, and I'll uh, zip it up just to show you what it's like. It zips, very good. Um, on the coat, you've got a nice, oh, excuse me, it does get caught a little bit on the inside. Uh, hang on a second, my apologies. There we go. It's got a nice pocket here on the inside for um, if your phone or your wallet or a snack. Um, it, like I say, I would say the only thing about it is, is when you do it up, if you're too fast with it, it's quite easy, it's quite hard to uh, undo. It's got some quite lengthy um, baffles on the front of the jacket here, which vent the air through a mesh seam. And you can do them from uh, top to bottom or bottom to top. And there's two of those on both sides. And likewise here, there's a, a baffle for the air to blow through the coat. Um, as you can see, it goes very well up round your neck um, to keep the, uh, the rain from getting down your neck. I'll just show you what it looks like uh, with a helmet on to prove that the hood also goes above your helmet. I'll have to undo it just a smidge. So apologies for this. So there you go, it goes right over your helmet. Oh, you can do that. Oh, it's got caught again. My apologies. There we go. There you go. So uh, when, you, when you're going down the trails, obviously the wind will probably blow through here and there's a nice reflective peak on there and it does, uh, it does tighten up at the back here. So um, yeah, and there's a, a little uh, couple of pull cords here to uh, tighten it up. You can see it tightening around my head. And um, I am gonna take it off because it's quite warm. It's got, ooh, off. it's got some nice Velcro cuffs here that are also reflective. And they obviously do tight around your wrist. And it's also, I've just noticed, um, it's got a, a little pocket there for, I would say, some keys or something like that. And I bought it about December last year, I think. Um, it did cost me quite a lot. It, it was £229. Um, I don't think it's just purely for uh, mountain biking or cycling. I think you could wear it if you were um, walking up a mountain or camping. I think, I believe I've used it a couple of times to walk the dog and uh, I mean it's it's kept me extremely dry it's very very lightweight it's very easy it's very breathable like I say with the with the two vents either up down or down up as you prefer like I say you see my t-shirt through here and it's breathable like I say two vents on both sides um, it's an absolutely and I did notice um, I think uh, reading 
on the internet, excuse me, two seconds, that it has been reduced quite considerably. Yeah, well, it does actually say on Chain Reactions website that it's uh, 18399 to 218 pounds. So it's uh, it's been reduced. It does come in other colours. It comes in black. Uh, this is sort of like a grey, uh, like a uh, grey, uh, green, and like a, a musty brown. Oh, I've got doggy bags there. So yeah, uh, where you can see where I've been using it for a walk. So yeah, so like I say, Endura MT500 coat. Um, great for mountain biking. Great, packs up really small. You can get it in your pack, no problem. Oh, it's got a, I don't know whether you can see. No, you probably don't. I'll just tip that forward. It's got a, like a long tail on it as well. So um, when you, obviously when you cycle, all the muck doesn't go at your back. The reason um, that I haven't used it quite so much is um, I have got um, some other coats um, that do need using other than this one. Um, the one, like I say, the one downside I would say to it is, is when you're going up and down, uh, I don't know whether other people have had other coats where you, when you're pushing it down, this bit gets caught in the zip and it, it does make it hard to undo. But yeah, um, extremely, like I say, extremely lightweight, extremely nice. Um, yeah, the MT, the MT500. Um, appreciate all your comments. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you'd like me to do any reviews on stuff, um, please give me a give me a bell. I'm open to do op any videos on anything mountain biking or cycling or, or anything like that. Um, next week, I'm only going to do one video where I think I'm just going to go out and I'll just show you my mountain bikes or my motorbike. But until then, thanks for watching. Appreciate all your time. Like and subscribe to my channel. See you very, very soon.